so today I'm going to be doing an unboxing, a bunch of stuff that I got from Sephora, and I'm so excited to share it with you because this is a haul from Sephora that has no makeup in it. It never happens to me. Normally I'm like, oh, I'll just throw a foundation in here or eyeshadow in there. This has no makeup in it, so I'm really excited to share it with you guys. I asked you on Twitter if you wanted to see it, and all of you said, uh, duh. I do what you tell me to, so I'm here. I'm excited. Also, I'm sorry my face is a little bit more warm than my chest right now because my self-tan is currently developing. Normally, this is the shade that it comes out to. Um, so, yeah, it's just developing, so it's a little off tone-wise, but I'm sure you can forgive me, right? So don't forget to subscribe before you leave and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And let's just go ahead and see what is in this box, because I kind of forgot. I'm pretty sure this is the biggest box I've ever had from Sephora. So I ordered this with like two days shipping and for some reason it took like a little over a week to get here so I'm very confused on why that is. If you guys know, let me know down below. Am I doing something wrong? Usually I'm not. Usually it's pretty self-explanatory where you order two days shipping and it comes in two days. For some reason it just didn't this time and it hasn't been so I don't know what's going on. Like I said, this is the biggest box I've ever gotten from Sephora and I'm really excited especially because I forgot some of the stuff I got. Now I will say Kathleen is like the reason behind majority of this haul because I watched her perfume haul and favorites video for summer and I was like I like perfume. I want to try some new ones. The first thing that I got is actually this Fresh Honeysuckle Moisturizing Hand Cream. I got this Fresh Honeysuckle Moisturizing Hand Cream because I love honeysuckles. I love the way that they smell. And I needed a hand cream for my purse because every time I'm traveling, I always find that I don't have hand cream. Because you know when you use the airport soaps and all that in the bathrooms, it like really dries your hand out. So I wanted to pick something up just to have. And this smells so good. It really does smell like honeysuckle. Like it doesn't smell like fake honeysuckle. Ooh, it takes me back to when I was a kid. We had honeysuckles everywhere. <sighs> I love it. And it feels really good on the skin. So, yeah, I just needed to pick up a hand cream. So this is what I went for. Next thing I got is something I've heard a lot of people talk about. And it is the Way Hair Care Rose... <laughs> it's the Way Rose Hair and Body Oil. And I love rose. So I wanted to test this out and see if it was good or not. I want to just open it up. I don't want to actually squirt it out. Mm, it does smell really good. It smells like a like a rose with a little bit of a different flower. I don't know. It smells nice. So I'm excited to test this out. I also wanted to try out a new hair mask. This is the Living Proof Restore Mask Treatment. It says it deeply nourishes and reverses damage. I wanted to do this because I've been trying to get a new mask, but I just haven't been able to find one that I love. So I figured I would go with Living Proof next because a lot of people seem to really like this brand for their hair. I figured I would try this out. If you guys have any hair masks that you recommend, let me know down below in the comments. I haven't tried a different hair mask since I was using using the Macadamia Deep Repair Mask, and I loved that, but I really feel like that was breaking out my back. I mean, I haven't used it in a while, but every time I did use it, I noticed breakouts. Um, so, yeah, which I'm still struggling with it now, which you guys have recommended a wash for my back that's, like, over-the-counter at Target and Walgreens and stuff, and it has been working. I'm going to have to let you guys know what it is. I need to use it for a few more days, but I swear, it's been putting in work. You guys save the day all the time. But anyway, so I figured I would try this out. I have fine hair, but I have a lot of hair. So I don't like too heavy of a mask because then it'll weigh my hair down and make it really oily. So if you guys have any recommendations, let me know. I just have dry ends, you know, just trying to refresh them make them feel smooth again. Next up, this is kind of like a surprise purchase for me. I for sure thought I had this perfume and then I looked at my little perfume rack, which if you follow my vlog channel, you've seen this beauty room. Um, if you haven't, then definitely go check out my vlog channel. I'll have it linked down below. I was looking and I was like, hmm, I do not have this perfume, but I have the travel size perfume and I always purchase the travel size one. So I was like, all right, I think it's time I purchased the big size. So this is a classic scent. Smells so good. It's YSL Black Opium but it just looks like this it's so pretty and it just smells so good and I find that this perfume lasts so long on my body oh, and it smells so good it just oh, I don't I don't even know how to describe it but it is a really really great scent it's hard for me to find a perfume that I'm like obsessed with this is definitely one that I love mainly because it lasts all day and it smells delicious like delicious like I didn't think I would ever go for a scent like this because I'm more of a rose, very floral, feminine. But this is like kind of sweet, feminine, like more vanilla. And not necessarily rose, but this is good. Okay, and then next up is actually a 
body oil that I'm pretty sure I read on the Sephora website that this was what Miranda Kerr used and said that she loved it. Yes. Oh, it says right here on the back. Created with Love by Miranda Kerr. I read awesome reviews on this, so I had to check it out because I do struggle with really dry legs. And then if I try to like prepare myself with going into the winter here at Drum, I want to be prepared and make sure my skin is smooth and soft and not like a dry crocodile. This is just a luxurious, lightweight, multi-purpose body treatment oil combining powerful organic noni extract, rose hip, and sunflower seed oils, providing the skin with a rich source of antioxidants and essential fatty acids. I'm a sucker for body oil, let's be real. And it comes, oh that's nice, so it comes like this. You have the top off and it just has this, which is actually really travel friendly. I love that. So I would recommend keeping this top if you ever want to travel with it. A lot of product. I feel like I smell, I smell, I smell a little bit of both. I definitely smell the rose hip. I also smell the sunflower seed oil. So I'm really excited to test this out. I'm going to let you guys know what I think because I'm always on the hunt for the best moisturizer ever, which let me tell you, this one I'm about to show you right now, I did restock on and you've probably seen this a million times if you followed my Sephora hauls, but this L'Occitane Ultra Rich Body Cream. This is such an amazing body butter. If you have really, really dry skin and you just need something to really get in there and hydrate, this is great. This is more of like a nighttime moisturizer or if you're really dry throughout the day, then you could throw this on. But if I put this on my legs and I'm trying to put some skinny jeans on, they're not going up my legs because this is so moisturizing and it does leave that film. Not greasy film, but it's definitely got a film on top where it's really moisturizing. And so I would recommend using this at night, but it is one of my favorites. I love it. If I'm just feeling super dry, I will throw this on and I can feel this the next day. So highly recommend it. I love it. I knew I had to stock up on it again because it's one of my favorites. I also got Davis another birthday present. His birthday is coming up very soon and I got him this cologne. Don't tell him. Just don't tell him. I had one of these before when I went and had my meetup in Sephora in New York with Benefit like two year, a year ago, a year and a half ago, I don't remember. It was like last summer I believe and I had it engraved for our anniversary and it broke like when he was at Benning and we were traveling a lot. So I bought him a new one, it's not engraved with our anniversary but I was like I love this smell and I need to smell it on you again. So I got this for his birthday, it is such an amazing cologne you guys. This, and then there's a Chanel one, Chanel Blue or something. Oh my gosh. Divine. Okay, next up I have this Stella... Okay, all these? Yeah, I have, um... I have two more perfumes, and then I have some diffusers and a body milk thing. So, this is the Stella McCartney Eau de Parfum Natural Spray. I got, again, the smaller size of this because when I'm trying new perfumes, I like to get the smaller size. This one just looked like it had really great reviews online, and I just wanted to test it out. So, let's see. It does smell good, but it's very alcoholy. I don't know. I don't think I like that. <sighs> what this reminds me of is like back when I used to drink vodka. This is what I would smell like. I don't think I like it. Oh no, I don't think I like it. Um, I'll keep you guys updated, but I feel like this is a really well-known perfume and a lot of people enjoy it. I just don't think it's my kind of scent. So this I have been so excited about because I've never tried a perfume layering oil and I'm sure you're supposed to use this with the um, Flower Balm perfume but I'm not the biggest fan of Flower Balm. I know, I know, I'm crazy. Just whenever it reacts with my skin it kind of gives me like a musty scent instead of like a really nice smell and then it gives me a headache so I can't ever use it. But I figured I would try this out because it is the Flower Balm. It is the Flower Balm. Is the Flower Balm Rose Twist, and I know it's the same Flower Balm fragrance, but it has a rose twist to it. And I'm hoping that this reacts better with my body chemistry and not smell crazy or give me a headache. Perfumes are honestly trial and error because you can smell it in store and like spray it on you and you're like, oh, this smells amazing. But if you let it last for like 30 minutes to an hour and like let it work with your body, then you get the real scent and you can tell. You're like, oh no, 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 no. But anyway, so this is what it looks like. You can mix this with different perfumes. You can use it by itself. And I've heard perfume oils last really well on the skin. So, you know, I had to try it. Let's see what this looks like. Oh. Oh, it's not. I thought that would be like a rollerball, but it's not. You just like open it up like this. Like you just twist it. Is that really how it works? Is that really how it works? Interesting. See, I've never used one of these before. Do you just twist it like that? 
Wow. So it's just an oil you pour it onto your skin. Ooh, I like that. Mmm. I think I'm really gonna like that. And I think this mixed with a couple of the different perfumes that I have, like the Chloe perfume that smells like roses, will smell absolutely amazing with this. Even Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. Ooh, I think this would smell so amazing combined with them. Love the Dior Blooming Bouquet, but it doesn't last that long on me. So this can make that last longer. And also incorporate this scent into it. I think I'm going to be obsessed. And I've just been so intrigued to try oils. Alright, let's move on to some other products that I have. I did pick this up because I have been really into baths lately and I just wanted to see if this was really good because I have really great reviews. I'm always looking for something that's going to be nice and moisturizing. I do use a lot of Lush, but I figured I would try this out. This is the Laura Mercier Body and Bath Almond Coconut Milk Honey Bath. Very pretty packaging. I like it a lot. It's like Winnie the Pooh. Oh, okay, I can't get it up. Oh, there it goes. Ooh, it's like so fancy. This is literally giving me Winnie the Pooh vibes. If you don't know who Winnie the Pooh is, then I'm getting old. This just looks so... Oh, 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 there's not a lid thing out. There's not a protector. Ooh, that smell... That smells like something around Christmas time. Wow, that smells amazing. So I can't wait to try this out. A lot of reviews said that it was really moisturizing, to be honest. I, I guess you just use this to put it in your bath, but I'm just probably going to, like, pour it, you know? I don't know, because I also hate the way this feels. Uh, it kind of hurts my teeth. I know it's a little weird. You do get these two little goodies, and I'm really excited to try it out. I will definitely let you guys know in my hits and misses what works, what doesn't. We're going to find out. Okay, so another thing I have been loving is diffusers. I have a new one back here that I got when I was in Atlanta. I had them ship it to me because I love the smell of it. It just smells like flowers it's amazing i used to get all my nest diffusers in fort benning at their px because they always had them there and they were at a discount so that's where i would always get them but here at drum they do not have nest they don't have a lot of things in the px so i decided to go ahead and just pick this up from the sephora i love this one this is the white camellia i think is how you say it i probably said it wrong white floral bouquet of fresh camellia wisteria and indonesian jasmine are intermingled with crisp notes of white tea and amber let me tell you, you love floral scents and you just love that fresh feminine scent. This is what you need. It smells absolutely amazing and it's just, ugh, it's so good. They do last a really long time. And then, this looks so fancy. So next up, I got something from Jo Malone. I had no idea Jo Malone was being sold on Sephora and I was like, uh, yes. I am definitely going to buy something. So they're always so fancy with their packaging. I love it. They go the extra mile. And in here, we have another diffuser. This is called Red Roses, and it's a scent surround diffuser. And it just looks like this. It looks absolutely stunning. And then you do have your wicks in here as well, which I love how classy this looks. It just looks so nice. I wanted to try this out. I was a little nervous because I've never purchased a diffuser that I haven't smelled. Like, I knew what this smelled like, so I bought it. But I've never purchased a diffuser online without smelling it because I'm very picky about those as well. And it smells like roses. I am going to be obsessed with this. This definitely smells like roses. I mean, there's no extra vanilla or anything like that added to it. It just smells like beautiful roses. And I cannot wait to put this up in a room. So this one I have back here is from... Antica Farmacita. I'm sorry. And um, it's called Ala Mona. Oh, it just smells like fresh flowers. Like, you know when you have like gardenias or something like growing outside and you can just smell it? This gives that gardenia scent, but a, not as powerful. It's just so fresh and it just smells like a pure flower. Like you're putting it up to your nose and you're just sniffing it. I'm obsessed with floral scents. There's just something about it. Some people can do floral completely wrong and it just does not smell great at all it smells too musky or something like that Ooh, but this one this one is so good i love that and it goes with my my theme back there that is all that i got from sephora i really hope you enjoyed this haul i know it was a lot and it was a lot of different things but i'm super excited to test it out i think the only thing i really didn't like was this one right here just the scent is not my favorite but for the most part i'm excited to try everything else out Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below in the comments if you enjoyed me showing you things that are not makeup on this channel. It's mainly a makeup based channel so let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you've tried anything, let me know what you think as well. And I will keep you guys updated on these products. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye! <laughs>
my mind right here right now